ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is the afternoon weather extreme video. This is for Monday, the 8th of December. James Spann here getting set for a very wet period for the state. The big question Will we have any severe weather along the way? Any potential for snowflakes along the way? We'll talk about that. Let's go right to some Skycam shots this afternoon. The view from Clanton down in Chilton County. And, yep, those are high clouds up at about 20,000 feet, increasing across the state. And you know the old saying, Cirrus nearest, Stratus coming at us. And that'll be the case here. We'll go down to uh, Demopolis. That's a Skycam from the Demopolis Civic Center looking south right around the bend is the uh, Demopolis Lock and Dam, and again, the sky uh, mostly cloudy, high overcast, and from the campus of the University of Montevallo down in uh, Shelby County, again, the high cirrus clouds in place there, and then you can see them clearly on that water vapor satellite image with that trough developing out west, and the stage is set for a good soaking. I think that's the one thing we can promise here with uh, good rains, many spots having potential for over two inches of rain this week. And temperatures, yep, they're warmer today, moderating. Look at the 50s, you know. That's still below average for the uh, early part of December, but it certainly beats the cold weather over the weekend we had. And boy, it's cold in Canada. See some readings as cold as minus 24 at mid-afternoon. Yeah, we'll keep an eye on that cold air. Uh, there's a look at the uh, surface pressure uh, plot uh, this afternoon. The surface low on the lee of the Rockies in advance of that new trough is 995 millibars over the Oklahoma panhandle around Gage, and you'd figure in advance of that we could see some active weather, and sure enough, in the day one convective outlook, there is a slight risk of severe weather for uh, cities like Dallas-Fort Worth, Shreveport, Texarkana, Tyler, and Longview. And then tomorrow, the risk expands onto the east to include all of Louisiana and a large chunk of Mississippi and just the southwestern corner of the state. And the big question is, can we have severe weather here late tomorrow night? I think it is possible. Is it a classic setup? No, it's not. But we could see some uh, pretty strong winds with the uh, showers that pass on through here. Here's the QPF. Yeah, we're talking big-time soaking here this week. This is valid through Saturday morning at 6 o'clock, and this is suggesting rains of over 3 inches for parts of the state. Uh, really, everybody getting two to three inches, and a lot of the models are supporting that with really two separate rain events, the one tomorrow night and Wednesday morning, and another one Thursday afternoon, Thursday night, and Friday morning. So this could be a very wet week, and it'll certainly help to knock out the rain deficit for the year, not maybe all of it, but a part of it. Here's the GFS. This is the 12Z run, valid at noon tomorrow, noon Tuesday. And you can see the uh, two distinct uh, waves, the northern branch uh, passing through Canada and the upper Midwest, the southern branch digging down into old Mexico. And uh, down below that, uh, at this point, you can see the uh, uh, gulf is wide open, but it looks like a pretty good chunk of the day tomorrow will be dry with the better rains during the day off to the west. Uh, Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi as the surface slope moves up to uh, near Chicago. And it will be windy as south winds increase. We could see winds out of the south gusting to uh, 30, maybe 40 miles per hour up on the ridges by late in the day. Now, we'll go to uh, midnight tomorrow night. And the uh, surface low is uh, really up near Buffalo, New York, and the trailing band of showers and storms uh, down through uh, western Tennessee and north Mississippi, easing into northwest Alabama. And then by 6 o'clock Wednesday morning, it moves in here. So really, the model is a little slower, uh, and others are supporting this idea of the main squall line coming through here after midnight tomorrow night during the pre-dawn hours Wednesday morning. And of course, the good thing about that, the air tends to be a little more stable at that hour of the day. And then uh, there's a look at uh, noon Wednesday, and the uh, better rains are shifting down to the south of Birmingham. We'll check some of the severe weather indices. This is the instability, surface base Cape, valid at 6 o'clock Wednesday morning. And you know, by golly, there is a little bit from Birmingham south. In fact, uh, the instability peaks down there. It looks like at uh, over 600 uh, joules uh, down in uh, south Alabama around Evergreen. So there's a little sliver of instability there. And, of course, the helicity values are rather high. Uh, we've got some uh, helicity values uh, almost at uh, 400 over northeast Alabama. Uh, so we'll have to watch for that. You get the idea what's going to happen. Uh, we'll probably have the, the radar lighting up, and then as the storms push into Alabama, they should weaken slowly. But 
with the dynamics involved, I still think the, uh, the storms and probably not much thunder and lightning. They might be just showers, but they could produce some pretty strong winds early Wednesday morning. And then the whole thing winds down by uh, midday Wednesday. Now let's go to Thursday. Here comes part two. Look down there in the southern stream. Uh, you've got that big upper level low that's uh, just south of Lake Charles. And at the surface, a surface low develops south of Mobile Bay at midday Thursday. And this is suggesting rain on Thursday will be over the southern half of the state. Thursday night, the rain moves northward. It covers all of Alabama as the surface low moves northeast. And the thickness values support rain here, no snowflakes. And then uh, Friday morning, the surface low pulls off in the, up, up northeast, up the Atlantic coast. The rain tapers off. But, you know, that round two could produce another good little rain event uh, Thursday night. But it looks like a cold rain. We'll probably see temperatures bottoming around 40. But it looks like it will be too warm for the snowflakes. But it's early in the season. Now, those snow lovers are disappointed in that, but come on now. We, we, you know, Technically, winter's not even here for two more weeks. Weekend ahead, Saturday looks dry and cool. Sunday, a southerly breeze kicks in, and uh, that looks like we'll be moderating and maybe enough moisture for a little light rain or a shower in spots, but for now, I think we'll leave it dry. And then Monday of next week, a week from today, the trough shifts out west, cold trough out west and a 588 warm ridge over the Gulf of Mexico, and that's going to set the stage for kind of a battleground there and maybe a stall front. Uh, that front uh, Monday of next week runs from near Chicago down to about uh, uh, Lubbock, Texas. So that'll be interesting to watch that uh, battleground. We'll go out uh, deeper into the month. Uh, this is a look at uh, the 16th. And again, we've got the uh, warm 588 ridge over the uh, Gulf of Mexico and the trough out west. This is Tuesday of next week, a week from tomorrow. But let's go to the end of the forecast. What do you say? How about December 24th, Christmas Eve? And how's that for an interesting look? Trough axis west of the state. That looks uh, warm and stormy. Maybe some kind of a severe weather deal uh, developing there. But again, this is all voodoo, as we know. It, it's hard enough figuring out the weather five days in advance, much less 16 days in advance. We're just peaking, but certainly if you're hoping for a white Christmas, that does not bode well for Christmas Eve. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog, alabamawx.com. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And, of course, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and God bless.